holy shit, what is happening with the YouTube space in the UK? I mean, first off, we have KSI, and I'm going to make a video on him soon. But now, Young Philly is being accused of uh, multiple rape allegations. So right now, Young Philly is arrested, and uh, he is charged with four counts of rape and three counts of assault. Uh, editor confused here. I also forgot to mention that for right now, since he was on tour in Australia, that he has to stay in Australia until the whole case is done. So Young Philly is stuck in Australia right now until the case is done. So that just kind of gives you an insight on how like actually serious this whole case is. And uh, we even had the women show evidence um, of all like the bruises and all this. And they're, they're very bad. Like, obviously, I can't show any of this because it would you know um <clears throat> go against the terms and service of youtube so i i physically can't show you the evidence but it is out there but yeah young philly got arrested i can't remember when he was arrested but he is in court right now and i mean it's insane how much influence people have because it's, it's basically confirmed already that he's done all this and you have people outside of these courtrooms chanting free young philly and that is just absurd. I don't care how much you watch someone on YouTube. The fact that you can sit there and try and excuse multiple accounts of proven rape and sexual assault just because you like someone's content will always be insane to me. But honestly, this just feels like a fever dream to me. I mean, I don't I don't watch like Young Philly and, and all and like the beta squad. I don't really watch that type of stuff. But he's always seemed like such a actually good person and all those people always have. But this is just another case of you can't judge a book by its cover and you can't judge someone based off what you see in their content. But yeah, it, it genuinely feels like a fever dream. Like when I when I saw the news today, I, I almost didn't believe it. I thought it was clickbait. And I, I almost actually scrolled past it because I was like, uh, I'm not reading this this BS. I'm not going to read about lies. But obviously I clicked on it. I mean, that's why I'm talking about it now. I click on the video um and the new like i click sorry i click on the news source and then i read it and then i look up and i i see a video on it and i see all the evidence and i mean obviously i have to talk about it i have to spread awareness about this because not many people are, are talking about it right now which is, is weird to me because he's such a big uh, content creator and these are some bad allegations and i, I honestly i guess this 2024 is just the year that Every content creator has to do something bad. I mean, I couldn't even name how many how many content creators we've had get caught or called out for doing bad things. But um, yeah, I'll I'll keep everyone updated um on the whole situation once we get more. Right now, um, he's not going to prison from what I've seen. Um, I'm almost a hundred percent sure that he will be going to jail sometime soon. Probably about maximum three months, because we know how slow court trials can be. Uh, unless he pays some hush money, which we'll find out if he pays hush money. But yeah, um, I'll keep everyone updated. Uh, this was a big surprise to me. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.